everyone, my name is Birdbrain, and today we are talking about master controllers, but not just any master controllers. We're not gonna make the puppets spin around 360 or whatever. Now, today we're gonna talk about the function wizard. And the function wizard is pretty great, because this will allow us to create little buttons that'll be useful for our characters. So it's not much about sliders and grids, it's really more about buttons and function and stuff. So, let's get started. As usual, I'll be using this rig of my D&D character because I have it on hand and it's great. And uh, it'll be our guinea pig for today. First off, what you will wanna do is have a rig at hand. If you don't have one, you can find one on the internet. There's a lot of free ones in my Gumroad and there's a bunch out there you can find to play with. And once you have a rig, super easy, go in your toolbars, get your master controller toolbar with your little buttons right here. And then we're gonna go to the one with an F, which means function wizards. So what is the function wizard? The function wizard is basically a thing that will write a script for you. So all of these things, if you're a wizard scripter, <laughs> you can do it yourself. But if you're like me and you forgot everything about scripting since your 3D days, this will be very useful because it's basically kind of a cookbook on how to cook your own script. So you choose whatever you want. It's like going to Subway, right? You want you say, I want to sub with like these vegetables or whatever, and then you can just choose whatever you want. And this will write a script for you. It's really great. And it's still new, but you know, it's getting more and more useful each release. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a function wizard to make the deformer appear on my eyes because I could make selection handles to select them uh, or I can make function wizard like this because they're really really hard to select because it's a very thin line so instead of making handles since you already know how to do that because I made a tutorial about it I will make a function wizard about it so what I want is a checkbox widget because I want a yes or no answer but you also have two point widget and slider widget that I'm going to show you later but checkbox widget it's basically a yes and no question box. <laughs> and then the operation will be, uh, you have toggle attribute, you have show and hide node control. Uh, this is the equivalent of when you click on a node and you go to this little button to show your control. You also have enable disable node, which is like opening and closing the eyes on a node. And you have show and hide deformers. So that's what I want. I'm gonna click on show and hide deformers. And then um, I will click on what node I want to affect. So I'm gonna click on my eyes. I'm gonna go on add selected node. And there you go. Harmony is going to find it for you. You don't even need to write it. So great. And then the label is basically what you want to call it. So I want to call it Woo Front Top Eyelid 01. Because who knows? This will create the script for you. You press OK. And then Harmony is going to ask you where do you want to save it, which is important. So for now, I'm just going to select the necklace comp because it's right here and it's the one I see here. Necklace comp. And then you see it's going to appear here. And then all of these. I recommend creating one composite and all attaching them all next to each other because this is going to give you a couple of checkboxes like that. And if you want to move them, you just click on them, you attach a peg to them, and then you can just move that peg somewhere where you can see it. <laughs> and then of course, like I said, you want to get these and maybe cut paste them somewhere in your rig. You know, I always have this backdrop where I have all my master controllers. Well, you know, I could just add it to this or just make another one. I'm going to add it to this because it's quicker. And then if I click on it, you will see my deformers will appear. Super interesting. So now, of course, I made it for one eye, but you can also do it for both eyes. You can do it for multiple pieces. I'm gonna do it one last time just to show you a bit quicker. I'm gonna delete it and start fresh, but this time I'm gonna click on the top and bottom eyelid of my eye. So I'm gonna find it in my node view by clicking on it. I'm gonna click on the top eyelid. I'm gonna click on top eyelid, look at it in my node view, and then here I have my top and my bottom eyelid. I'm gonna select them both. Go back to my function wizard. So then, super easy, I have my two layers here. I'm gonna choose checkbox widget. Um, just as a reminder, point 2D is basically like the square grid you see usually in master controllers, and the slider is the little line master controller that you usually see. If you have any questions about those, you can check out my other videos. But that's basically how they work. But I still need my checkbox. I wanna get show and hide deformers. I'm gonna give it a name. So that's gonna be the front eye deformer or something. And then I'm gonna press OK. I would attach it to my master controller uh, composite and then that's it. You would have your checkbox that will appear. Then as usual, it's just a matter of placing it somewhere that is more useful. <laughs> and then you click and you're gonna get your deformers on and off. I think this is really great for tight spaces like that without having too many of these handles that can get in the way. They also change the way that your shape looks. So sometimes I'd rather have these little controllers. They're not much heavier than making your handles or whatever so it's pretty great pretty cool of course don't abuse like don't put it on every piece of your rig like you, you can click on an arm and just show your deformer it takes a second it's really just for little things that might be uh, easier to do from far away so that's it for this little introduction to the function wizard um it's 
it's got more uses than this. I use it for compositing. I use it for other things in my rigging. This is just an introduction, and I hope that this will give you enough confidence and enough knowledge to try and do a few things on your own. And if you try a few things, don't forget to come on my Discord and show it to the gang. We cannot wait to see what you do with this. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.